Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Experience. Today I want to talk about hardware accelerated machine learning, particularly using the latest board from NVIDIA. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Now when you think about NVIDIA, you probably think about graphics cards and quite rightly so. However, NVIDIA have a big investment in the machine learning segment. And the reason for that is that a lot of the mathematical stuff that goes on inside of a neural network in terms of matrix multiplications are similar to the things that go on inside of a GPU. So NVIDIA will be able to take their GPU technology and apply it to machine learning so that you get very, very fast machine learning based on their GPUs. Now last year I reviewed the NVIDIA Jetson Nano board, which you can get for $99. It's much, much faster than say, let's uh, Raspberry Pi 4. It's also got a built-in NVIDIA GPU on it, which means it can do great things when it comes to machine learning. However, the, that's the bottom end of the range that NVIDIA have, and they actually have several different modules that go up in price and in performance across their machine learning range. Now, last year, NVIDIA announced a new board in their machine learning lineup called the Xavier NX. Now, it's a system on a module, which basically means it's a circuit board with a row of pins on it, and a hardware engineer would know how to use that in some kind of project, whether that's an autonomous vehicle or a robot on a production line, something to do with video analysis, whatever it is, hardware engineers, they're really good at taking modules with pins and kind of putting it into their product. However, you couldn't use it at home as a hobbyist, as an amateur, or in fact, the hardware engineer might find it hard to use during the development process because there's no board for you to plug it into. So you get HDMI and USB and you can plug in a mouse and a keyboard and all that kind of stuff. But now Nvidia have announced the development kit for the Xavier NX. So it's basically a single board computer and you get on it the ports that you need, gigabit ethernet and a USB, HDMI. And the great thing about this board is that you also get on the bottom access to an M2 slot. So you can plug in here an SSD using an M2 slot. There's also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And so now it becomes a self-contained computer that you can use for doing machine learning development. And in fact, as you'll see soon, you can use it as a desktop. You can use it as an ARM-based development environment, whether you're programming in C or Go or Rust or Python or whatever it is that you're using, you can use this. It's very versatile for all different kinds of things. So let's talk about the hardware for a bit. The system on a module itself is where all the, the goodness happens. The rest of this stuff is kind of the ports and things. In here, you've got a six core hexacore processor based on an NVIDIA custom CPU design. You've got a 384 core GPU, NVIDIA GPU based on their Volta uh, GPU architecture, which you can find in very expensive PC cards like the Titan 5. And then you've also got eight gigabytes of RAM and then also things like a micro SD card slot so that you can boot from it. And then once you use the development kit, you've got access here to GPIO pins and you've got the ports here. Uh, and I said at the bottom here, you've got the M2 slot for both Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and for an SSD. So that really is uh, makes it very, very versatile in how you want to use it and quite powerful. And we'll talk more about the actual performance numbers in just a moment. Now, before we get into the machine learning stuff, let's just talk about the GPU. Yes, a 384 core NVIDIA GPU. So what did I try to do? Well, I went ahead and downloaded the source code for Doom 3, which id Software have now made uh, available under an open source license. You still need to have the actual files, the data files, they're not free. But I was able to build it and I was able to run it on this board. So this is an ARM-based processor with an NVIDIA GPU running at 4K on my big display here and I was getting 40 frames a second out of the ultra high quality settings on Doom 3. And that's not bad for a little board that only uses 15 watts of power. Now, NVIDIA have a uh, ecosystem called Jetpack, which is a Linux-based, Ubuntu-based system that works across all of their Jetson boards. So if you've got a Jetson Nano, or you've got the Jetson Xavier, or you've got the even more expensive ones, you can develop your software on one and know that it will work across all of them because they're providing you with the same libraries and the same ecosystem. And those libraries include the CUDA libraries that NVIDIA have, as well as machine learning accelerated, hardware accelerated machine learning libraries that actually use the GPU and actually the TensorFlow cores that are built into this board. Now, NVIDIA provide loads and loads of documentation and example applications so you can get started with machine learning 
on the uh, Jetson Nano and on the uh, Xavier NX. So for example, they have a Hello AI World program, which is basically an image classifier. You can download it from GitHub, you can build it on the board, you can then run it. Now, I went to Monterey Aquarium a couple of years ago, and one of the animals that this neural network will detect is a jellyfish. Now, I have a great jellyfish display there at that aquarium. So I took one of my photos and I fed it into the program and said, let's see if it recognizes my jellyfish, and it did. And it, it recognized it straight away with a high percentage of accuracy. Not only can it do it with photos, you can also do it with live video streams from a camera where it can do things like object detection and all that kind of stuff. So they give you all of this, you can just go and download it and start playing with it all on the board. But you don't need a 384 core GPU just to recognize a jellyfish from a static photo. Of course, the performance really here is about processing video feeds. So whether that would be a camera on, on a robot in some kind of autonomous vehicle and being able to do lots and lots of things in parallel on this board. And to demonstrate that, NVIDIA have a setup where they are pretending that maybe you've got a service robot in a retail environment and you want to do four things simultaneously. Now, the first thing you want to be able to do is understand voice because someone might speak to the service robot, ask it a question. You might need to know whether the person is actually looking at the service robot. So that's called gaze detection. When you turn away in another direction and then you say something, the robot's not going to, it knows you're not talking to it. Uh, also uh, pose uh, recognition. So if you point over there and say, how do I get to the, or what is the, and, and you're talking to it. So it can recognize the positions of your body. And also it can just do people detection. So it knows whether it's come up against a person. And of course, object detection and all that is, is built into all this as well. So NVIDIA have this demo and it runs all four of those things simultaneously from video feed. So this is where the power of this board comes in. It can do four different camera set. In fact, there's another uh, part of the demo where it's got another four cameras. So there's all these cameras going on and they're all processing uh, in real time these uh, images, these feeds, and then applying machine learning to it. And that's quite an impressive demonstration they've put together there. But more than that, this demonstration also shows the latest thing that uh, NVIDIA have added to Jetpack, which is their I said their version of uh, Ubuntu, which is support for containers. Now, Docker runs, for example, on ARM-based um, machines. I've got a whole video about running Docker on a Raspberry Pi 4. Docker runs on this board as well. And what that means is that you can actually run as individual microservices in self-contained containers the different things you want to do. So in fact, in this demo that we've looked at, each of those different things is running inside of its own container. So we've got containers, we've got microservices, and each of those containers have full access to the GPU and to the machine learning hardware and they're able to run. That means as a developer, you can be working on one microservice, someone else can be working on another microservice. When you want to do upgrades, you only need to upgrade one microservice. You don't need to reflash the entire board, reinstall Linux, reinstall Ubuntu, reinstall all the libraries. You have this self-contained um, container that can come down onto the platform and keep running and upgrade along the way. So containerization on this board is an excellent, great step forward, and it also demonstrates the true power of this device. Now, when it comes to the performance, obviously there are some big improvements on this board compared to, let's say, the Jetson Nano or even another board like the Raspberry Pi because of that hexa-core setup with the NVIDIA custom CPUs and, of course, the 384-core GPU. Now, I'll display some figures here on the screen for you to show you some of the differences in both CPU and GPU performance. But overall, we can say that the uh, Xavier NX is at least two times up to seven times faster than the Jetson Nano, completely depending on what you're going to do. And then when I ran my thread test tool, which you can get from my uh, GitHub, if I ran that on the Jetson Nano, uh, it would take 46 seconds to run with eight threads looking at 12 and a half million prime numbers. The same test on a Raspberry Pi 4 takes 92 seconds. And if you run that on the Xavier NX, it takes just 15 seconds. And I've got more analysis of the performance over at the Android Authority website, and there'll be a link to the article in the description below. Now, because you've got access to that 
M2 slot, which means you can add in uh, SSD storage onto this device. This really does bring this into the area of a workable development environment. And you could do that in one of two ways. If you are developing, let's say, on Windows or on Mac or whatever, or even on Linux, and you want to build for an ARM machine, you can have one of these on your network. You can connect to it remotely and then build. You can even build using Docker and containers if that is the build system that you're using. But also because of the performance of both the CPU, eight gigabytes of RAM, and that SSD access, you could actually run this as a desktop. And I was able to, of course, run C, Python, Go, Rust, all that kind of stuff. And I was able to run IDEs, like for example, uh, Microsoft Visual Code. There's a community build which is built for ARM processors and that ran on there without any problem whatsoever. So is the Xavier NX development kit the right board for you? Well, look at it like this. If you're just getting into machine learning, and I mean like just getting into it, you can do machine learning on basically anything. So you can even do it on a Raspberry Pi Zero, which will cost you $10. So you don't need to invest in something like this just to get started. However, if you want to go into something that can do hardware accelerated machine learning, so that means you're processing, let's say, video in real time, then you should definitely look at the Jetson Nano because that only costs $99. However, if you've outgrown the Jetson Nano, if it doesn't do what you need, or if you are developing a professional product that will go inside of autonomous vehicles, production lines, whatever, then you should really seriously look at the Xavier NX development kit. They cost $399. And also if you wanted an ARM-based development environment with desktop SSDs, eight gigs of RAM, gigabit ethernet, then this is a good, also a good alternative to some of the other devices that are out there that gives you performance and access to uh, external storage like the SSD drive. So basically, get into machine learning, you can do that on anything, but if you want hardware accelerated, look at the Jetson uh, range, Jetson Nano, and then the Jetson Xavier if you want even more power. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I suppose that's it. I'll see you in the next one.